Uh, hi, my name is Gene. Uh, we're here at NAMM 2023, and I think I'm showing off uh, our new uh, video synthesizer. So they're not super common, uh, but the idea is kind of like an audio synthesizer, except instead of outputting sound, it makes video animations. So you can kind of control it with a bunch of controls. You can kind of load presets. Right now, we have it kind of interfacing with this camera. So you can kind of wave, and you kind of see what it's doing. So this is a patch. It's like a sort of, not even sort of, it's a very psychedelic kind of interactive visualization. The idea is you put this camera in like a DJ or a crowd or something like that. It's also responding to the music. And right here is like a preset selector. So I'm just going to click on some more presets to just give you some idea of the, the range of types of things it could do. So it's just switching to different, different presets here. And it's all interactive. So it's not playing video loops. Like most people that do uh, video stuff uh, use like Resolume and they play like video clips. But this is not doing that. It's using math and algorithms to generate everything. So it's really, really interactive. You can control it with MIDI. Uh, you can control it with CD, has eight CD jacks. Uh, all this stuff's remappable and really very customizable. And uh, yeah, it has just a huge variety of types of things it could do, all in the same kind of like psychedelic space. Uh, the general idea is that it's a uh, it's for a, a DJ or a club or a band that really wants to do like professional little visuals, but they don't want to hire a video guy. They don't want to mess around with the software on a laptop. You just kind of plug this thing in, you plug in your audio, and it makes this kind of stuff live. You can either have it synchronized with your set, you have it kind of like interacting with uh, MIDI's coming in. We can actually have like somebody here like kind of playing it live in real time. So it can also take video in from external sources. So if you have like another video device or if you actually have some VJ content, you can uh, stream that stuff in. So I just switched it over from the camera to a video loop. So now it's kind of using something that's coming from my laptop. I'll change it to a different loop here. So now it's using that kind of thing. It's like a modulation source. It's not directly uh, mixing it in like you would with the video mixer. It's doing something a little smarter where you actually uh, use it to turn on the effect. So it makes it look a little more interesting. So yeah, uh, the device has eight CV jacks in the back. It's a zero to 10 volt, uh, standard Eurorack stuff. Any devices you want, you can hook into there. It has uh, compatibility with USB MIDI devices. It has a five pin MIDI in and out. Uh, and uh, it can take audio directly in too. It does frequency analysis and can extract tempo and beats from a live audio stream. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to switch out the entire effects chain, and now it's going to basically switch what we call instruments to something uh, totally different. So this is a completely different fundamentally like algorithm for making visuals that is also interfaceable with external sources. So let me turn the video camera back on. So now it's a uh, video is kind of being spliced in in a blue and uh, reddish kind of way. It's also interactive in the same kind of way. So you can trigger events and uh, yeah, just play around with it in a similar type of way. It's also, oh yeah, so I clicked it onto a pattern right now that's wired into this little XY controller. So this is just a standard Eurorack module and it's got a little like joystick you can play with. That's hooked into some parameters for some wave interference and it kind of lets you control what's going on in the screen. So yeah, I kind of move it up and it makes it a little more dense. Yeah, you can do oscillators, uh, you can do any kind of like uh, normal uh, 0 to 10 volt CP signals into it and get control of the simulation in that way. So, let me put a couple other patterns on to look cool. So, there we go. This is an audio reactive one. It's actually kind of responding to what's coming out through the speakers here. Yeah, still interactive still controllable, it's all scriptable by external sources. And yeah, uh, we're pretty happy with it. So it's been in development for four years. Uh, it's probably a little bit more by this point. And it's being manufactured as we speak. So uh, the current release date is the week of June 26th this year. And uh, it's available now for pre-order for $1,200. We'll probably increase the price to uh, maybe 14 when it's actually out in a couple months. But there is a 10% off discount code for the next week. And that's NAM2023 with uh, capital N-A-M-M. So yeah, that's uh, pretty much our synthesizer here. And we are really excited to get this into people's hands.
To find out more about the Recursion Studio from Entropy and Sons, please visit their website and check out the description below this video. Thanks for watching, and please subscribe to CatSynth TV. You're watching CatSynth TV.